Welcome to this guide for the Aligned Assets Single Point Web Service with CADCorps' WebMap. I'm going to demonstrate how to add the web service to WebMap. The web service connects directly to your local land and property gazetteer. This helps users search for an address directly with the LLPG. CADCorps' WebMap includes a web-based administrator interface. You can use this interface to create new maps, add local knowledge templates, and even gazetteer web services. To edit the administration settings, I have launched the web map admin interface. To start with, we must select the map we wish to add the web service connection to. So under the what would we like to do menu, we choose maps, select map, and I'm going to select the CAD Corp map. To use the aligned assets web service, we begin by adding a database connection. This instructs the system to search for addresses. From the drop down menu in the top left hand corner, we select database connections and add connection. We are looking at the aligned asset single point web service, so we select web service from the drop down list. We now need to select an appropriate name for our database connection, so we're going to call this aligned assets. The following information will be provided by aligned assets. So first of all, we need to enter the URL for the web service. We then need to add a username and a password for an account that can use the service. And then finally, we need to add an API key. And this is only required if you are using the single point service 4.5.5.0 or later. Then we can click add. After adding a database connection, we can begin creating a new search. From the drop down menu, we select searches, add search. We're going to create a new search. So to start with, I need to assign a relevant name. This name will appear in the results dialog in the web map interface. So I'm gonna call this search, is this an address? I'm going to abbreviate aligned assets in brackets so we know it's coming from this service. For the connector type, we have the choice of aligned assets or aligned assets single point 4.5.5.0 if we're using the version which requires an API key. We then select the database connection. This is what we created in the previous step and we call this aligned assets. When we click get tables, we get a list of all the tables that are available to use with the web service and all its associated columns. I'm going to select the table I want to use and I now need to define all of the columns in my search. So first of all, I need to define the Eastings column. So I'm going to find the Easting column in my data. I need to do the same for my Northings. And then I need to define the results column. So this is the full address column, which will display the full address when the search is performed. I'm going to set a zoom resolution of 0.5 so that it zooms to a master map level. The search icon will use a default blue icon in web map and the projection will be to set to 27700 for OSGB. My search column will be used to search for my addresses. So we have a column called search address. And finally, I'm going to use that same column to order my results. Now we click add and the search will be added to this map. I will now open the map from the admin interface. The aligned assets web service is now available within the quick search box. I can now search for an address. So I'm going to find a lighthouse in Plymouth called Smeaton Tower. The web service responds with the results. And if I select the result that I'm interested in, the map will navigate to its location on the map. If you have a license for the CAD Corpsius notice board product, the same process I've just shown you applies to this product as well. This concludes my guide to the aligned assets single point web service with CAD Corpsius web map. Further information is available on the CADCorp online help, or you can contact us by email or telephone.